This institute uh, is located in Novosibirsk, Russia, and now it's the largest institution in all the country. Its staff is about 2,800. Uh, the institute started as a, a part of Kurchatov Institute of New Accelerated Methods. The first director of BNP was Andrei Butker. Uh, he was an academician who made a large contribution to plasma physics and developed accelerator uh, cooling. Butker Institute of Nuclear Physics has a large experience at particle colliders. First collider at BNP was that one. This is an electron electron machine. First time was in 1962. It was at the one that uh, firstly was investigated double breaking radiation. Both single and double breaking radiation were investigated at that one together with pioneer research in nonlinear resonances at colliders. Since then, at least one collider has been running at BNP, including Web2. Web3, Web4, and Web2000. We are the control room of Web2000 Collider. It's uh, the modern machine, uh, the B B Bootkira NP. Uh, it is a very small uh, electron positron collider. Web uh, is a, a Russian abbreviation for the uh, colliding electron positron beams. Um, this is a very small machine with uh, 24 uh, meters in circumference, but uh, small does not mean simple. It has all the systems which has uh, any other machine. And the complex uh, uh, consists of um, uh, booster ring and the um, collider itself. The main feature of this collider is what we call round uh, colliding beams concept. Uh, for any collider, the, the main parameter is the luminosity, which uh, uh, shows the effectiveness of the, uh, of the machine uh, ability to provide the needed uh, processes, needed particles. And uh, this luminosity is limited uh, um, by the, what we call uh, beam beam effects. It's the interaction of the particle with the collective uh, uh, field of the counter beam. Beam beam force is very nonlinear, and uh, with uh, increasing the intensity of the beams, and it means the increasing the luminosity, uh, this uh, force can destroy the uh, the stability of the particle motion. Uh, many years ago, it was uh, suggested to uh, introduce a special um, additional symmetry, which uh, includes the symmetry of the uh, interaction uh, with, the, with the counter beam and also in addition uh, the symmetry of the uh, focusing systems, uh, system of the, of the ring. And if we introduce this symmetry, it means uh, that uh, we introduce additional uh, integral of motion of the particle. And it should help uh, with the stabilization of the beam beam forces and uh, to, it helps to enhance the beam-beam limit. And uh, it, it was discussed for many years, but uh, even it was tried at the Cornell University first, at the Collider Caesar, but uh, finally it, it is used uh, actually only in this machine, Web2000. Uh, and it really works. It helped us to increase the beam-beam parameter in a factor of two, and it, now it's the world record uh, values for this uh, parameter. And it helped us to increase the luminosity compared to the previous uh, machine, Web2M, uh, in a uh, factor of 10. This uh, machine operates in the energy uh, range, wide energy range, in contrast to other uh, colliders. We can uh, scan with the energy from the very low values, uh, 150 MeV, where, where only um, uh, the lightest, uh, lightest hadrons can be produced and uh, up to the 1 GV per beam and it uh, is above the threshold of the nuclear and nuclear pairs production. Here at Web2000 we study physics of uh, strong interactions in the energy range up to 2 giga electron volts. That's a very interesting energy range 
It's, it has complicated dynamics uh, of Tron interactions and we are very limited with theory tools to do any kind of calculations. And uh, experimental data is crucial here to understand how everything works. Uh, electron positrons annihilate. They can produce strong interacting particles, which we measure with two detectors, CMD3 and SMD, uh, in two interaction points. And uh, we measure cross sections of various exclusive channels, dynamics, intermediate states, and all kind of uh, physics like this. Experiments here have very deep connection with uh, uh, famous experiment at Fermilab. Uh, um, the measurement of the anomalous magnetic moment of muon. At Fermilab, uh, they measure the value of the anomalous magnetic moment of muon, and our results, the data we collect here, is necessary to calculate the standard model value for the anomalous magnetic moment of muon. Uh, the idea of experiment is to compare two values, and if there is a difference, it could be due to interactions beyond the standard model. Web2000 is the most uh, productive uh, collider in this energy range and we hold the largest, uh, world's largest sample of the data which we can analyze and get the uh, cross-sections on uh, values like this. As a result of accelerator technology advancement in the end of 70s, BNP started its work with the synchrotron radiation. Beamline at Web3 for accelerator facility is constructed for the synchrotron radiation output. New types of bending magnets as well as insertion devices for synchrotron radiation output are under active construction at the Institute. In 1979, in our institute, was created the first of the world superconducting wiggler. Uh, the wiggler is a uh, cryogenic uh, electromagnetic device with large uh, number of superconducting coils, uh, which uh, feed by high current near one kiloamps. And uh, the peri periodic magnetic field of the wiggler causes uh, electron beam uh, move uh, by a snake uh, trajectory and generate high brightness uh, synchrotron radiation. Uh, for the last 20 years, in our institute was created more than 20 this type uh, device, uh, which are used in the famous uh, world uh, synchrotron radiation centers. Uh, the main advantage of our wigglers is not only record uh, level of magnetic field, but also we create uh, the cryogenic system uh, which can operate without liquid helium consumption of, uh, autonomously uh, for several years. And uh, we can say that now our institute is a world leader in the field of producing of superconducting wigglers. At the present, uh, our institute is uh, building a first generation light source KIF, which is designed to operate at 3 GeV energy with extremely small horizontal emittance of 75 picometers. The chosen parameters make the facility unique. In a sense, it's very compact. It is under, for under 500 meters in circumference. Horizontal emittance is extremely small, uh, and it brings it to the diffraction limited emittance at one angstrom wavelength of uh, X-ray radiation. We also have to finish construction by the end of 2023. Uh, we already have an experience of building a booster ring for uh, NSLS-2 in Brookhaven. And uh, we, in order to facilitate construction to make it faster, we basically copy the uh, built facility of the booster for the SCIF uh, operation. 
the second project that our institute is developing is called a Super Tell Charm Factor. It is based on crab waste ideas that was uh, invented in um, 2006 by Pantaleo Raimondi, an Italian physicist. The new concept of organizing collisions in the collider promised increase of luminosity by almost two orders of magnitude. And that opens up ways to measure and to study previously unseen rare processes. And it, Tau Charm Factory is an ambitious project because it works in energy range spanning from 1.5 GeV to 3.5 GeV, promising 10 to the 35 luminosity in all energy range. Nonlinear problems are challenging. This is going to be a very ambitious project in the sense of uh, optimization of dynamic aperture. We already showed a number of examples and we compared our project with SuperKick B and we find a lot of similarities. And as it was said before that SuperKick B is a test bed for the future circular collider at CERN, SuperKick B is also a test bed for Tau Charm Factory. And for the Bootcare Institute it is very interesting because science is different from technology. When students come to physics they do not look simply how to do things. They also have a dream. They have a dream of discovering something new, something that haven't been seen before. And both projects, SCIF, the light source, and the Collider, Tau Charm Factory, they provide a challenge as they offer a possibility to discover new effects, new unobserved uh, regimes of work of, uh, of the accelerators, new interaction with particles, they offer new ways to learn and it gives a dream for people who come into physics they all dream about new discoveries about something that nobody's done before and all of that is going is on the table is on the plate when we work with the skiff and super tau chain collider The Institute of Nuclear Physics is a unique scientific organization that combines seemingly incompatible things, fundamental physics of microcosm and industrial production of up-to-date equipment for universities and laboratories worldwide.